All right, YouTube, I'm back again. Curly here. It's been one week since I uploaded the video, and now I'm here. Just really busy with work and really busy with uh, personal life. And yeah, um, I'm gonna give you an update on my uh, Harpy account, uh, which is the free to play account that I showcased in my uh, new player guide. And it's been how many days old? Let me just check real quick. So I've been playing for 119 days. Okay, so that means um, this account has been playing for almost four months and had great achievements already. So I started the game um, rookie and then made to silver. I didn't play uh, that much it's because I have this um, like goal that I will go rookie and then go bronze and silver and then go platinum each month. I mean like a gold and then platinum like different icons in uh, different months but I decided to just king of games because I want to prove that um, in less than three months you can uh, achieve king of games if you build your deck optimally. Uh, it's also uh, this is pure free, free to play as I've said before. Um, you can king of games. Uh, you can achieve uh, DLV max if you're even if you're free to play. It, it's not an excuse even for a new player I think they can still do it I am an exi existing player and I wanted to like showcase um, easy ways to build a new account to make your account uh, really uh, optimal as much as uh, as much as possible and uh, so the main the main uh, deck on this account is the harpies so as you can see this is a pretty optimal build really beautiful it's pretty much like a pay to win uh, version of the deck and um, the, the, the only difference is it doesn't have book of moon because um, if you can see a uh, tournament topping tournament uh, topping uh, harpy deck they have book of moon and their arsenal but here I have two chalice to compensate so chalice uh, pretty much uh, does what book of moon do which uh, negates Monsters, uh, Book of Moon doesn't negate by the way, but Bouncer is a problem with Harpies. They can negate your Channeler, your uh, strongest starter in the deck. Uh, the second one is Perfumer. And I think any Harpy, if you draw a Harpy and a Swallow's Nest, it's pretty much a starter as well. So yeah, uh, Forbidden Challenge negates both on Bouncer. So if it tries to negate, and then it, it's negated because of the Chalice. It gains uh, 400 attack, but it doesn't matter. You will just bounce it with your Cy Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. Um, the reason why I play DD Crow is it's for the Resonators. It's just a one-off because if I uh, play two, I'll probably break. Um, it's just here to secure other uh, that they don't combo off on their turn one or turn two. And um, yeah, uh, Cosmic Cyclone. It's just uh, in, in an assurance that I can, uh, if they set one, I can just cosmic it and then do my plays, you know? And pretty much if I have cosmic and swallow's nest, I have uh, I have answers for uh, two sets. So if, if I summon Chandler and then they try to karma it, I'll swallow's, ne uh, I'll swallow's nest. And if, it, if they have another back row, I mean, I'm um, sorry, I, I will activate Cosmic Cyclone first if they set two, and then I'll summon Chandler. And if I, and if they did have Karma Cut, I will Swallow's Nest, summon another Chandler, given that I have another Harpy, per, uh, Harpy cards in my hand, which I can summon another Chandler out from Swallow's Nest, and then I can discard the Perfumer that's in my hand, or any Harpy card, even Harpy Hunting Ground. Or feather rest, you can uh, discard it with your channeler's effect. And I play Finish Chain just for I think it's just a I don't know. I may I, I can remove this to to, uh, to be completely honest with you, but I think it's just here just to be Finish Chain you know, negate. <laughs> and yeah. Treasure Strapple, pretty much self-explanatory. The thing about Finish Chain is it's not sent in the graveyard if the monster is 
removed from the field by other uh, other than uh, being destroyed. If, if in this chain, uh, if in this chain and the monster that it's uh, equipped to, um, if it's destroyed, this will get destroyed. But if it's like gets banished or returned to the hand, it will not be removed. So your treacherous trap was still active. Because if this is in the graveyard, if, it, if you have treacherous trap in your field, it won't work. So yeah, pretty much explaining everything, right? But yeah, it, 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 this is for new players. That's why I'm explaining everything. So you will know what it does. Hunting ground, pop back row, if you summon, a harpy monster. And um, Abyss Dweller, just to negate the stones. You know, you can uh, make this turn 1. Malevolent Sin is uh, the, the best exceed monster in the game right now. We got Roach to negate the Resonators, uh, Synchros, and we got Gagaga Samurai to attack uh, twice, 2k if you have Tyson Binds, you can OTK, and we got Heraldi Patriarch for uh, Harpy Mirrors. So turn 1, you make this, you pretty much disable them, they don't, they don't have Book of Moon, the Chalice, you win. Okay. So yeah, um... That's pretty much it. That's the main deck. And I have a second deck actually on this account. Uh, let me just quickly show you. Uh, the Mayakashi. This is the second deck on this account. And this is uh, what it looks like. So one Solitaire, Squire, two Mayakashi, uh, Daki. Uh, Shirinui Samurai. You got Spectral Shade, one Spectral Sword. Ice Mayakashi. It's been also, um, I think this is called worthy. Special, uh, I because this really optimal already. Here we got. I got Chalice. Yeah, I think this is really uh, called worthy. I think I can climb uh, to Cog with this after I deal with Max with Harpies. I just want to deal with Max immediately. You know, this is gonna take a long time if I play uh, Mayakashi uh, right now. So yeah, th this is a complete deck so far. I think I have Goki as well, but it's not yet complete. Let me check. So this is three months. I already have three decks. Yeah, I have Goki, but it's not optimal yet. I don't have Necro Valley, but I have the playset of the Suprex. I got the Rescorpio. They only play two. I got the Twist Cobra playset, Lance, Lightning Vortex. To enemy controller, the trap, and yeah, I still have to optimize this list. But yeah, you can go to legend and do well. But yeah, if you have Necro Valley, if you have more uh, traps, you can clap with this. So what else? Um, right now I am auto dueling with. The Aromage is still, is still the best. Uh, Aro Aromage is still the best auto duel, one of the best, uh, along with Red Eyes. But I might need to update my new player guide because uh, the Red Eyes, uh, even though it's really cheap, it's 1500 gems only, along with Neo's uh, structure deck, you can live with Aromage and still do well. The reason why I have Red Eyes, uh, Red Eyes Neo's uh, auto duel deck is for. Uh, it's also for fusion summoning, uh, fusion summoning missions, which is the uh, Red Eyes Neos uh, fulfills uh, pretty easily, and Aromish can fulfill synchro summoning uh, missions and exceed because they can exceed uh, really well. And yeah, um, I guess that's pretty much it. I think my new advice is just build Aromages and. Auto duel with it, and you're, you're fine. You don't need uh, red eyes. But yeah, I, I just love red eyes. You know, it's really cheap. What does five hundred? It's like it doesn't hurt your uh, gem bank. But yeah, this is the deck list right now. That's uh, doing really well. Angelica to make uh, rose, a rose, a rose, aroma therapy, uh, rosemary. Tomato King, Gaia. This one, this one. Yeah, it looks really good, and it's a. Uh, Pretty consistent. It, it has a good win rate. It lo it loses, but it it wins most of the time. And pretty much all my stage missions are done. I'm just not, you know, uh, 
claiming the gems yet because I'm saving it for something in the future. If I really need it, it's for emergency. I can complete the uh, the missions. I mean, I can claim the gems if I need it, if I want to, but not right now. Alright, so just showing you that I really did complete all the missions. And yeah, I said that I will make a stage mission guide, but it's I got pre I got overwhelmed of uh, how much work it requires to you know be specific what decks you should use in the specific uh, mission. And yeah, I got overwhelmed. I maybe it's gonna take me a lot of time to make. But yeah, I'll probably just freestyle it. I'll go to Duel Links Meta and I'll check all the missions there, and I will try to find the hardest. Um, mission in there and I will tell you what to do because you know I completed the I completed all the missions so I, I, I know what I'm talking about so if I say you do this you do that because yeah I completed everything so I have the I have proof <laughs> okay so now we go to DLV Max we're, we're going to DLV Max now Okay. We'll try to go uh, five, five and zero, oh, because I just got to DLV twenty four, and I will still use the same deck. Okay, so let's go harpies. Let's change the music. Six win streak. Whoa, that's scary, bro. Okay. Optimal hand, let's go. We go for Pumer. We search for Featherless. And hopefully, we draw a uh, disruption. Okay, so he's probably playing Crystrons, right? Should we go uh, Roach? But with the, the thing is, if he summons C three, it's it came. The summoning is came from an effect, so Roach can't take it. If I go Abyss Dweller, I won't be able to activate uh, get a uh, draw to. Probably the safest play is just heart slash. And I have chalice, so I can negate something. And then we summon Yi. Probably the one. I used to put it in defense during the early the early times of Harpy being metal. Okay, draw two. Hell yeah. <laughs> Double chalice, one swallows. So two negates, uh, then swallow quick play. Uh, quick play uh, special summon. I'm, str I'm, I'm streaming actually, guys, YouTube people. Um, the thing is, it's very early, so that's why there's no people uh, watching right now. All right, so we oh shit, it's fucking uh, fish. You can target one level G one from this. Or something to target. This. Yes. I'll probably just bounce this, right? Because he he can special summon something in the home if he controls a fish type monster. Okay. I'll go search too. Put in a D. Uh, probably the best play earlier is okay. Win streak gone. We're the killer of win streaks. 
Because um, the thing, the thing about uh, why why did I bounce it? Because he will. Uh, what's the name of the card? The special summon when you uh, control a water type monster. It's an uh, angler. Yeah, angler. Angler fish. Silent angler. Is that the name? Forgot. <laughs> I play water deck and I forgot the name of the card. But yeah, that's the that's the card. So that's an instant uh, Abyss Dweller. Okay, let's win a five. Okay, we, we got uh, four more. Okay, Chandler again. This is an APK right here. Okay, we discard this because um, Perfumer is a good uh, good normal summon for later. And we go for... I really like Feather Rest all the time. Since we don't have any disruption, that's the chance to uh, draw them. So, another Yugi again. Did I face this guy earlier? Because I played games uh, before recording this. And he is playing 23 cards as well. So it's pretty much the same. Alright. Oh shit, we didn't draw any significant card. Okay, we hopefully we don't get OTK, you know? Okay, we pass. Okay, this is scary. He can OTK us if he got if he got a god hat. This is probably you send you. I think I played this guy again. Oh shit, it's fucking uh Vikings. Okay, this is bad. Boys, this is so bad. If I knew he he's playing Fire Kings, oh shit. Why? Why he didn't sub- wait. That's negated though. Huh? Why he didn't summon the- He doesn't have all of the Ar Ar Arvata- I mean the- The Wing Beast. Uh, 2700. 2700. Uh, attack. Monster. Okay, so since the perfumer is in our hand, all of them, we can't go channeler. So I'll probably just go perfumer. I think I can just attack. I'll attack with the Harpy Lady one first. Okay, th there's uh, something. Right, right. He has to, he has to do this. Yep. And... Yeah, I will pass. Another onslaught of the fire kings. Okay, I'm gonna get wiped out. Why he goes? Why he did go for Arvata? That's a really big misplay, and he has a Garunix in his deck. So if I abyss dweller there, that's probably the best play, right? Like if I uh, go abyss dweller. But the thing is, he will just attack with Garunix, so he will get destroyed. So it doesn't matter. But he doesn't have any back row. But the thing is, if he, if a, if I get destroyed here, I can still do plays. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, summon the Oracle and then recover the Venomous, so I can uh, shuffle, reshuffle my deck. Um, the thing is. The runix is bigger. And I can give him a destiny drop. Okay, I will activate... 
the hunting ground. So uh, the effect is destroyed by battle. We can spend someone from here too. Okay. So I'll just bounce this because it has a floating effect. The thing about this is uh, it's really hard because he, he has Destiny Drop A and he could, could probably OTK me. So this is this is the problem with uh, Yugi. When you play Yugi, you don't overextend. Because if, if you overextend, you, you lose. And he has 5 cards in his hand. That's, and if he draws something, I mean out from uh, Destiny Draw, Okay, I let, I let that resolve. Because he might set a trap that could, could win him the game. So he's gonna go for Arvata. Okay, that's it. That's why. Okay, goes for the end phase. Uh, I'll probably activate this now. Oh, it's sick of the Okay, that's a good decision that we uh, did that from the graveyard. Okay, so what's in the graveyard? Another Arvada, except for Arvata. Um, I'll go Abyss Dweller. I won't activate because you will destroy. Oh no, I activated it. No, 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 no. I could have uh, a Beast Dweller. Sorry, sorry. Oh no, 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 no. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, boys. That's really bad. That's bad, boys. Oh no. Okay, he has, he has a spear. Yep. That's really bad. Okay. That's in Destiny Draw range if I attack. But if we Abyss Dweller and he has spear, Abyss Dweller is useless. So it doesn't matter, I still want OTK. Okay, I need to be really fast. Alright, I'll have this dweller now. I can uh I can KO that uh Arvata. With my skill. Okay, so okay, I'm running out of time. This is really tough. Parkings is so tough to uh, beat. Okay. Face. Okay, we win, boys. We win. He cannot activate anything in the graveyard. Yes. Woo! Two wins in a row. Let's go. You do that in the draw phase because in the, in the standby phase, the monkey uh, fire king will activate. So draw phase. 
you disable the graveyard. Okay, three more. Let's go. I really need to, you know, be fast as this. But the thing is, it's really hard to play when you're commentating. And I really want to, you know, um, help new players. I'm really passionate about it. Okay. It's blue eyes. It's not a bad matchup. Okay, this is not bad. I mean... I could go... Actually, I, w I want to go for... I'll probably just play, uh, go up this together. I have Tretch. It's a much better play. And then we have a follow up with the... Uh, with the Oracle and we Swallow's Nest. I don't know if this is the best play because I just I just don't want uh, any stones to be uh, active in the game. Okay, if he tries to call this a mess, we will chain the abyss dweller. Oh shit, no. Okay, we'll do this. Did he break? He did it. He discarded all his decks. Okay, so search for the Sage of Blue Eyes. Um, the thing is... Okay, double, double set. Alright. So I can Oracle. If that's ultimate providence, I would cry. I will not do the Swallow's Nest play yet. It's because we don't know what the back row is. If we go preemptive, we might lose. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's the stone right there. He is going to get his free monster. His free uh, Dragon Spirit of White. And uh, I think I'll go for uh, Harpies. Because we will get an elegant Egotist anyway. And if he destroys the Harpies, we will get a flow. I'll probably, I can destroy, um, if he tries to uh, banish the treacherous travel, uh, we could uh, destroy our own harpist. He won't OTK. Okay, what, what is he gonna banish? Okay, he goes for the uh, chalice. Okay. Alright, it goes for the battle phase. Okay, that's fine. We're not gonna treach yet. We're going to get our free monster. Um, probably the better uh, search here is Perfume. Because we have uh, Egotist. We can search for... Uh, okay, yeah. That's better. Um, we search... Okay, that's not activatable. That... That... Uh, that back row is dead. I could... Probably go for uh, Feather Rest. It has, there's no delay. It probably it's probably a, a Feather Rest, and he can negate the Eagle Beast. I mean, uh, Providence. Sorry. Okay, we go. Um. Okay, slash. We fed the rest.
I'll probably just return one. This one and then a harpist? Probably not. I can bounce this now. Oh yes! He surrendered! <laughs> but it's not OTK yet. Because I have to rely on drawing the egotist. And if I didn't draw it, he, he will still survive. He, he still has uh, planes. Okay, two more guys, two more. We can do this, boys. Free to play. Free to play account. Clap it. Okay, we got Yugi again. This is tough. I'm always nervous when I play against Yugi. Okay. Or oh, hey, um, this is a good hand. Okay, always channeler. This one, we go perfumer. We got Tretch. We got a good insurance. So, um, I don't know what he's playing, so I'm just gonna slash. Hope for the best. And then we go draw two. Hopefully, we go uh, draw into Egotus. Oh, we got an Oracle instead. Okay. It's not too bad. We will get our free Feather Rest. And we set the Tretch. Yeah, this is a good start. Okay, hopefully uh, it's not Fire Kings or something. Oh, it's a Buster Blader deck. Oh. Search for this Destruction Swordsman. Okay, good thing we don't have... Oh! He's gonna fusion! Okay. Goes for the... Oh shit! Paladin! Oh! This can only negate spell cards, right? You cannot negate the trench. Attributed and special summon the Buster Blade. Okay. What else do you have? Do you have any plays? Okay, set one and then um, we just treacherous. No quick plays. Cool. Alright, so um, on my play next turn is I'm gonna go uh, search for the hunting ground. And we got Solo's Nest, which is really good. <laughs> yes, one more guys, and we deal with Max. Okay, hopefully we don't break. Okay, this is this the, the bullshit that I had uh, yesterday. I had a 23 win streak with RDA Resonator, no joke. I can uh, give you a proof. I can upload the. Uh, I can uh, upload the screenshot. Uh, actually, I can. I can re upload the replays of the games. But it's such bullshit. Like you will lose to a shooting star dragon in your DLV Max uh, rank up. That deck is. I mean, the deck. It, I, I thought it was really good, but like right now. I mean, the deck is cool, but. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just really salty, you know, that I lost to that. Alright, so here, here we are, we're playing against it. So shit. Holy shit, why? Why? Why is this happening? I'm playing against it. Okay, if he has Book of Moon, I'm gonna bust or not. I'm gonna cry. 
Okay, egotist. I actually could roach, you know? It's really it's really uh, risky if I um if I go uh, slash and then try the rest and don't draw anything and, and, and he has a grenade. So probably the best play is just go for Roach. I don't know man, if he has Book of Moon, a grenade uh, all together, I would definitely lose. Okay. I will... Should I shuffle now? Oh, I can't shuffle. Okay, I got Harpist though, so I can uh, just go Channeler. And then I can make more plays. Here's the thing. This I am gonna be I'm gonna be dead if he has Book of Moon. Okay, he sets. Okay, he doesn't have an answer for a roach. So his answer is the back row. Okay, I got Swallow's Nest. There's a delay right there. Um... I'll go Chandler. I don't know if this is the right play. I can just go attack. Not get greedy. And I have Swallow's Nest, so if something happens with my monsters. Fuck, it's fucking Shirinobi, wow. Don't be drowning, please. Because if it's drowning, I'm, I'm, uh, I'll lose. Okay, Canadia, alright. So he's gonna Canadia the... Do I have a 1900? That's not enough, right? This is not 1900. I would still lose, bro. With the Swallow's Nest, I can just only attack for... Uh, I don't have a 1900 monster. So he canaded a roach. And if he, if he mills, uh, if he excavates uh, three, uh, three tuners, I'm so dead. Oh shit, here we go. And uh, that's a tuning gun. Oh no, it's not. It's a uh, drunk ankle. Okay, he's gonna get his combo. Hopefully he can only attack once. Or two. So we could still live. And that's his normal summon. I'm pretty... I'm gonna cry if he attacks uh, five times. That's gonna be so sacky. Like, this is our DLV max rank up and if that happens... Okay, so he has like two tuners. How many tuners do you play? If you have eight, there's like... I don't know, it's, he has a big chance to mail everything. Okay, he's gonna change uh, the battle position of something here. This is... Uh, actually, this is really good uh, compared to Junk... Uh, Chunk Warrior. This is much better. That Canadia is paying dividends right now. 
start his dragon. Shooting Star Road. Okay, here's the here's the moment. Because if I lose this, I have to win two more. And then I will DLV max. So hopefully he doesn't um, OTK us. Please. Pray curly best, he will not OTK us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He will not do it. Okay, so he's gonna activate. We'll see what happens. Okay, so 1. Okay, 1 attack. Only 1 attack. Yes. Guys, we got this. We got this. Okay, what's the other play? Okay, sets a card. Okay. He's gonna some he's gonna attack the road. She has to. Yep. Okay, so let's check for delays. Okay guys, here's the moment. We got Harpy's hunting ground. Here's a delay. We have to pop the new newly set back. I haven't normal summoned yet. So I could uh, just uh, feather rest, uh, discard the feather rest, and I can pop the back row, force it, and then we swallow's nest. Okay. So we don't need to uh, feather rest right now. Just go special summon something from deck. And uh, what we could grab? We could grab uh, perfume. Special summon another harpy from the. Oh, actually no, we can't perfume. We go for the oracle. Force that out. He cannot negate because it's a uh, chain blocked. Okay, goes for Canadia. All right. I will just malevolent sin and then we win. 16 minutes, a second, sorry. Pop. He will, ne oh, he, will he, he can't negate, it's blocked. Okay, hopefully we uh, do this. Exceed, 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 exceed. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my god, one second! One second! Woo! Yo! That's the most fulfilling DLP Max I've ever did, bro. I was gonna cry. It's almost zero. And then I did the attack. But this is why I don't I don't climb on PC because I will time out. Because my my hand is so so slow. Wow, I'm gonna cry. That was intense. I, I freaking oh the deck of Ezekiel is here. He's watching. I freaking uh lost to an uh Stardust shoot uh, shooting star dragon yesterday. Um, uh, because I negated the wrong card and then he had a follow up play. And yeah, Jesus, I negated the uh, the tuning this uh with solemn scolding. Because I'm afraid he can uh, put another body on board, but he has a tuning gum and a level 7 synchro in. He synchroed into a, a Stardust, and then I have two bodies on board, and he he attacked uh, three times. And yeah, I lost because of that. But here, we, it's really clutch, because if he uh, attacked twice, it's probably uh, it's going to be a different game. DLV Max on stream. And on for the YouTube, we did a five win streak. Actually, uh, it's seven. We did uh, no, actually eight. It was eight. It was eight win streak. And I did that. I DLV max with thirty eight wins. Uh, uh, sorry, thirty six wins. Because the first, uh, the first win is from the uh, ranked duels. I only played uh, in platinum once. And then 
the other games is ah uh, from Casey Cup. Oh my god, I'm fucking shaking, bro. I'm fucking shaking, bro. I'm so excited to upload this. Wow. Let's save that. Let's save that. Oh my goodness. Wow. That, that was intense, bro. Oh my god. All right. Let's uh, let's watch it again, guys. Oh. My god. <laughs> one second, bro. One second. It's about to get zero. If I didn't attack on time, I would lose. Bro, here's the weird thing about the KC Cup. They don't reveal your uh. In replays, they don't reveal your uh, real rank. I'm Platinum 6, and um, it says on the replay that I'm Legend 3. So just to fool uh, people. Okay, Swallow's Ness. Okay, make a Roach. It's good that he, did, uh, he doesn't play Book of Moon. And it's a shame that in KC Cup, you cannot see your opponent's uh, deck. Only in rank games. If he had broke there, I, I, I could have lost, like, easily. Alright. So, Tyson, but this is a really safe play. Because if we can ADA the Slash that we are we are about to Synchro, we probably would lose, bro. So, at least we have uh, three bodies on board. So, his only hope to OTK me is to uh, mill three monsters. Ah, uh, three tuners. So Stardust, Shooting Star, here's the thing, he only had one tuner excavated, which is funny, all the tech cards was uh, excavated, look at that, all of the, he probably doesn't play uh, uh, move, move, move. judging by the cards that I saw, okay we got, here's the turn that uh, wins us, so Oracle, since I discarded the Feather Rest, I can recover it with Oracle, that's why I special summon it, okay? So I go for the Swallow's Nest. Chain blocked. Remember that. He cannot uh, start us. Sh shooting start uh, Dragon cannot negate. And we go for Malevolent Sin. Attack for a game. Yes. And that's it. Your uh, FQP uh, expert. Just prove that you can DLB max easily with 36 wins being free to play. Okay, so this hopefully this will inspire you. So as you can see, that uh, one win is from the platinum rank. So it's a uh, 36 wins. So yeah, here's the list, boys. Before I go, and um. We will do pack opening uh, before KC Cup, so keep an eye on that. I will upload it, I will stream it, and if you would like to see the live stream, you follow me on uh, Facebook Gaming. Uh, just type in fb.com slash curly, you will find it. It's going to be the first result. And yeah, uh, here's the deck if you want to copy it, just do it. 36 wins. It's a really... Uh, it's a few games. It took a few games. It's actually it actually clap. So many uh, so many decks. It's, it, it's a quick win. Uh, the next KC Cup will be uh, DLB twenty again because it's only KC Grand Tournament that has uh, DLB twenty five. So yeah, boys. Three of my accounts. Uh, <coughs> three of my accounts DLB Max. Um, I DLV Max uh, with Ninja in my Smurf, uh, my first Smurf account. I DLV Max with uh, Resonators with my main account, and then here on my second Smurf account, Parties. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep an eye on the pack opening. We're gonna do the gem sales. We will complete our Blackwing deck from there. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed the games. Uh, more uh, videos coming up. Uh, it's just, it's just I'm really busy right now, so it will be a few, few uploads uh, from now, uh, from here. But I'll try my best to upload uh, content. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.